For y'all, when you look at college, man, where you do everything together, we, we live in the same dorms or we live in the same apartments, like y'all team was famous, right? Like the, the, the Florida Gators, when y'all were there, were big time. So many dudes drafted and going to the league. Like I knew you guys too, because knowing you very well, y'all were really close with Aaron Hernandez. Yeah. You know, and Marquise would tell me stories. He's like, yeah, man, like sometimes, man, y'all, you know, Mike and Aaron had to go outside, squabble, they come back in, lift weights. Yeah. What was that relationship like with y'all to kind of get another brother in having him? Man, I'm happy you asked about the RC, real talk, because a lot of people, bro, they're, uh, they're more uh, scared or, or ashamed to even talk about it. And I'm just telling y'all right now, like, uh, if people were here and really knew Aaron, y'all would have loved him. Damn the situation that happened there, the scenarios that happen, are they awful scenarios that happen? Hell yeah, they are. And, and we feel for the, the people and the, the, the situations that were involved. But uh, growing up with Aaron, because we all did as uh, kids, we were, we were teenagers and we grew up as men together, especially having all our kids together. Hell, our daughters are damn near the same ages. We still even, uh, you know, get gifts and all that, still talk to Cheyenne and all this stuff all the time, you know what I mean? So uh, it's kind of like the, 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 to having a negative light to say anything bad about him, it, it'd just be, the weird to say and uh, disrespectful to say for everybody involved in that situation. But uh, my, my, I don't want to say nothing crazy my, because yeah, sometimes my, my we, we got so demoralized it. for, you know, trying to defend uh, defend Aaron because and, and, no one knew at the time. And I especially after things got played out, how it played out, because Mike, we got to say it, Mike, because uh, how the things played out, we never felt, uh, I think whenever like, like the whole hat thing happened, you know what I mean? Um, I think people took it in the foreign there. We, we didn't care about the other side. But at the time, the hat was a five second thing that we didn't, um, we didn't even have time to prepare ourselves to even put ourselves in the situation to prepare for that, that scenario, you know what I mean? Hell yeah, we feel bad for the family. If, if that was the, the, the case that happened and uh, someone did die from Aaron doing it, man, absolutely, like Aaron should pay for the, the cost that happened for it. And we feel bad for the family because death shouldn't happen with, within no one. Another person should take a life in no form. So uh, for all the people who never heard us say that, I just wanted to kind of like clear that, that, that part up because hell, like, we still walk in the stadium as everybody, Free Hernandez or, uh, or, uh, you know, hit us up on social media, like, F you for doing this and that. But uh, I think you really had to know Chico, his family, uh, his kids. And, you know, I get touched up sometimes about talking about that shit because, uh, hell, we still talk to him. So, you know, just know that uh, people do make mistakes in that form, but uh, they got others that live with them, you know what I mean? So, shit be crazy just looking at his kids sometimes. You know? Yeah, I understand that, just jumping in. I, I can speak to it, Mike, because uh, I, Personally, uh, knew I Aaron. Like I personally yeah. knew Chico. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I met him years ago with Deontay Thompson, uh, Thompson uh, who you guys play with down at UF. And, uh, you know, Chico was always just happy, go lucky, smile on his face. Everybody loved him. Always had you know, jokes. And obviously, like you guys are saying, that uh, you express, you know, some sort of remorse, you know, and you have certain sentiments towards what the other families are experiencing because of you know, what that outcome was. And it uh, doesn't make you guys a bad guy because you supporting your brother. No, you know, saying. nobody don't want their family member or whomever to be, you know, locked up or, um, uh, 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 or, you know, charged with, a, you know, a certain thing. It played out the way it played out. And that's due to, you know, what the higher power wanted. But you guys got to continue to live your lives. And, and also, um, you know, let people understood how Chico really was as a person, because he was an amazing human being, man. And, and uh, I can, and I can player, bro. Yeah, like, amazing player friend, too. That's, that's my, that was my point when I was getting at it. I hate that we had to justify our relationship because I, I always looked at it as, if my brother was in that situation, how would, how would everyone, how would they want me to react? How would they want me to feel? Would they want me to just leave him in the dark by himself or, or support him? Mm -hmm. I didn't support the action. I supported the person. You right. know what I'm saying and. That was the part that everyone missed because it was such a bad thing that, that had happened. You know right. what I'm saying? And then when you get caught up in the middle of it, you you you're supporting the person and not supporting the action, and people you can't even justify it in the time because it's such a hot topic. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I think that's kind of where all of us are getting at. We knew Chico the person. We didn't know Chico, we didn't know Chico the action. And the Chico the action, none of us agree should happen, right? right. We if, if it were true or if it did, really did happen, none of us agree that anyone should die. What? But with the person, we 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 supported the person because of who we thought he was, who he knew he was in our eyes. You know? Robert and Kraft went and supported him at court, you know what I mean? So right. to sit here and say that, that Chico was a bad person, like, man, he had ownership of the NFL in court for him. Mm -hmm. So that, it was just crazy that, like, for even, even for us, so that for, for someone who didn't even know him as a kid, for us, like, man, we knew everybody in his family. 
Like we all slept together. We we, we went up to Connecticut. Like it was crazy. You know what right. I mean? So to have the owner of the NFL in there to support him, it already shows what type of person that he was. Like the action was a one day thing. Maybe mm -hmm. we don't know what it was. You know what I mean? Like it, it was just crazy that the whole entire world judged him off that one little thing. And I and I get it in a in a form, and I, which I truly do because the the tragic accident. You know what I mean? It was crazy that that was even brought apart. And that for the NFL, like let's be real, that doesn't happen in the NFL. Like. All right. For one of our star players who changed the NFL to a two tight end set, yep. for that to happen, it was just like, hold on, let's reassess all the guys that we're bringing into the NFL. It gave the the, uh, the critics and all the, the outside haters more, you know, fumes to, to the fire. You know? Recently, we had Tamara Hall on, and she she had a business relationship with Jeffrey Epstein. The you know, and I was the same situation, but it was terrible things he did and end up dying in, in in jail. Yeah. Same situation, and I asked her, was there any to be as close to Jeffrey as she was, did you see anything? Any, any to, for y'all to be as close to Chico as you were, I ain't know Aaron like that. Like, I, I met him one time, we went tight. Like, the story's crazy. So the this whole, is what we were saying. The entire story is crazy. Y'all, it was not, like, that was a surprise to y'all. We all heard that story. It was a total surprise. There was nothing that led up that y'all could see that he could do the things he did. But so, so no, so what we'll say about that thing is, uh. What we did learn after after the fact was uh man Chico's skull was paper thin. And the, the doctors were uh he had stage four CT uh CT. Wow. So they, they actually knew this, they actually tested his brain. And the doctors were amazed that that, that uh, every time Chico took a hit that he didn't fracture his skull. So I honestly think that played a uh a major factor in uh what he had going on in there, you know what I mean? So and y'all if y'all knew really knew Aaron, like he was a really smart dude. Aaron knew and kind of like, uh, I think that he kind of maybe predicted in himself that, man, if I got out, how life would be. Like, let's be serious. Like, I mean, what's life for, you know, um, Simpson now? Like, is it yeah. really that good of a life? You know what I mean? Like, and you said he knew while he was in I, jail, like if he ever I mean, got let's all like, let's just, just sit there and think, just put yourself in that situation. Like, what would you truly think in your head? Like, how would you really take on that situation knowing that if I come out of this, I'm gonna lose so much. Money-wise, everything's gonna be sued, everything, I mean, the perception when I walk around, like, how would you truly feel about that? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I honestly, if we we're gonna sit here and even ask that question, even think about it, I mean, I mean, I think that's kind of what people wanna know instead yeah, of just right. fighting around the situation. Like, I think that's what maybe what Chico was thinking, you know what I'm saying? But other than that, like, hell, it ain't nothing that we can really truly say, like someone forced him to do it. Cause in my mind, whenever the, the, the call first happened, I was, man, someone murdered him. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, my, the guards did it. They hate that he, you know what I mean? He just beat the, uh, the verdict, you know what I mean? We were so tied into it. Like, I, I mean, we, we was there, we had the lawyers for him. Like, we knew every single scenario. I mean, we was, hell, there's probably hundreds of jail calls, you know what I mean? I was sitting on there just laughing and bullshitting. They're, most of the calls, they're probably sitting on there mad because the, the stuff we was on there saying, you know what I mean? But uh, it was just um, crazy how all that stuff played out. It was just weird, man, especially that that, that call that's saying that that happened. And that her, that's her, crazy. Her, I uh, couldn't believe that shit. Hell yeah, it was crazy. But, well, Keith, I'm gonna jump in. I'm, I'm, I have a question for Mike. But I want to say my last impression on Chico, on Aaron, um, I talked to him the night before, before he passed away. And uh, in that conversation, he was the Chico I remember talking to when he was a, 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 a young player at the University of Florida, traveling to Jacksonville. It's crazy. Happy, fun, you know, just full of, full of life, full of energy. So it was hard for me to believe that. You know, when they say he allegedly committed suicide, it was hard for me to believe that, but I just want to... What's the first thing you thought, though? Dang, he didn't do it. Someone killed him, right? Initially, see, man, yeah. Cause, man, cause what I do respect it. about Aaron that, at, at that point, because, uh, see, I'm just not hearing that, knowing that he called you that. I talked to him the same night. So he called all he his called all ones, everyone that mattered to him. I talked to him that last time, and we got that, all, that same impression. So when we heard that, uh, the news the next day, I'm like, bro, there's no way. How? Yeah. How I got off the phone, we're laughing. Everything was cool. There's no way, you know what I'm saying? Like there, were, and there was no indication leading up to that. You see what I'm saying? Like that's why you don't know people in the, never behind closed doors. 